they're also, from what I've seen, getting a lot of interest in the fairly recent announcement that, that Marriott is entering uh, the all-inclusive all space uh, in, this, in Latin America, starting out specifically. There's a lot of excitement, and, and the reaction from the market, when I say market, I mean the owners and, and, uh, and, and franchisees and the investment community has been very strong. Um, I think we, we're, we've been watching this space for over a decade, about 15 years. Um, we are comfortable with how it's grown, and not just in terms of size, uh, but also in terms of quality, where we feel comfortable that it's it's now at, at a positioning where we where, where we could use our our, our current brands and and, and 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 clearly the the type of product that our that our Bonvoy members are looking for. Um, so we launched. So, so you mentioned this Latin America. What we did, we actually did a, a global launch, uh, but we decided to launch it in the largest all-inclusive market, which is uh, which is Caribbean Latin America. To give you a sense of numbers, I think we're there's about 430,000 rooms all-inclusive in uh, worldwide at the moment. 53% um, is in Caribbean Latin America, um, and then the majority of that is basically in Mexico and the Caribbean. Okay. So it made sense to launch with signed deals. Um, uh, these are management deals, so we're not franchising or, land, uh, or, or uh, licensing. We're going in as the managers. Uh, our our third-party investors uh, are confident and, and, and comfortable with, uh, with, uh, with our brands. Uh, and the research shows that the, our Bonvoy members want this type of experience. And it doesn't mean it's going to be the same experience as what we traditionally see as the, the all-inclusive boxes that have been built in, 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 in the Caribbean. There's more mass. Uh, all-inclusive has evolved. We're seeing it in the lifestyle space. Uh, it's almost better, more than a brand or a positioning. It's the way customers want to purchase their holidays. Hassle-free holidays is what, what people will look for more and more. And leveraging our, our existing brands, our sales and marketing structure made a lot of sense. So uh, we're excited about the launch. It's a global launch. All my peers, all the CDOs in the world are also looking at, at, at growing. Uh, but we launched it with five uh, deals, 2,000 rooms in, in Cala. So it was important to launch where, where where the guests wanted it, where owners were excited about it, where you could where you could gain some scale right out of the gate. Exactly. Uh, you have you have those brands, you have that all set up, you have those properties, you have those deals signed. Yeah. What's next? Where do you go next? So what we did uh, in, in in launching that, it wasn't just about these five hotels. It was a, it was a, it was a larger initiative. Uh, for what, what we did is we we had a lot of discussion about should these be new brands, right? So we've got 30 brands. Should have been uh, brand 31, maybe 32. One for 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 adults. One one for um, uh, uh, for families, which is more the traditional uh, segmentation, and quickly realized, and we're told by by the industry experts, it doesn't uh, it doesn't make sense. We've got strong brands. Our, our uh, the awareness that our brands have uh, take a lot of time and take a lot of investment. So why not use them? So the idea is what we do, not the idea. What we did is we, we we created brand extensions. I don't know if you know of the the Ritz Carlton brand, and then we've got the Ritz Carlton Reserve. That was a brand extension. Well, similarly, we're we're, we're creating brand extension for seven of our brands and that includes some luxury brands so the Ritz Carlton is in there luxury uh, collection in there and W is in there okay. um, so I think that's fairly new and we got a reaction from the market where th that we're somewhat surprised uh, some um, some, I guess, some people in the market see the all-inclusive only on the lower end, but the research and our customers are telling us they want our, our upper upscale and our, our luxury brands in that space with brands they can recognize. 